This article will show you how to integrate Dundas Charts and Iron Speed Designer together, so let's get started. Our first step is to create a new .NET web application. So I will click File and New Website, select the default, Website 6, and click OK. Now, I should be in my design surface, which I can tell by looking in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. If you aren't by default at this point, please make sure you click the Design tab to, to be in this mode. Now, select your toolbox, and if it's not already open, open up the Dundas section, and then drag and drop the Dundas Chart Enterprise object onto the design surface. In a moment, you'll see the Dundas Wizard Chart and Data Wizard dialog appear. By default, Dundas should show you uh, the column charts as the first uh, entry. You can select different types if you want, but for this demonstration let's just select one of the simple ones. So I'm going to click the column uh, type bar chart. Then I'm going to jump over to my series data. Now this is really important as uh, we can't really have a chart if we don't have any data. In order to do that I now need to create a new data source. So I click my drop down and I see one entry which says new data source. Uh, in a, in a moment, the um, uh, data source configuration wizard appears. Uh, because I'm pulling this data from my Southwind database, I need to select the database. I do have a SQL data source um, uh, entry there, and I'm going to leave that as the default. Click OK. Uh, now I need to establish a connection to my database. So in order to do that, I'm going to click New Connection. And I already know what ha my server name is, so I'm going to type it in. Um, I very, very well could have used something else, but at the moment I'm going to use this IP address. And uh, in order to connect properly, I need to use a ID and password. And sure, why not save my password? And then I want to select the Southwind database, which is there. Now, test the connection. Test connection succeeded. Click OK. Now I can click Next. And yes, I do want to save this connection in my application web.config file. Now, what kind of data do I want? I have pre-created a view called Total Sales by Category for this, this video article. I'm going to select the two fields that I need and click Next. Now let's test our query. And it does return data. So now we can click Finish. After clicking the Preview button, Preview Data button, we can see that we do have some test data, which is all that we need uh, for the purposes of this demonstration. So now we can click Finish. Now the next thing that we need to do is assign um, uh, the series. So what I'm going to do is click into the center of my graph and you can see some uh, white squares uh, appearing. Now when I click my smart tag, it now shows me uh, value member X and value member Y. From the value member X dropdown, I want to pick category name. Now I should be able to click a dropdown and see uh, product sales, but for some reason that doesn't appear. So I'm going to have to type that in myself and now I can click off that Whoops. and when I go to run this I should now see some data. And perfect, we now have uh, some data showing us product sales uh, by product. Now I've created my first Dundas chart web application but that's not really what I want to do. What I'd like to do is actually embed my Dundas charts below my IronSpeed application show table page. So I created a very simple IronSpeed application in version 621. I selected my view total sales by category and then had IronSpeed generate that page for me. So again, what do we need to do now to integrate IronSpeed and Visual Studio together? Again, of course, using um, Dundas charts. In order to integrate our Dundas chart from our Visual Studio application into our IronSpeed application requires a little bit of HTML work. So let's switch back to our Visual Studio application and if you haven't already done so, select the Source tab. Now because we had selected the Dundas chart in the, in the design mode, as you can see here, Visual Studio has pre-selected the, uh, the code, the HTML markup code that we need. So I'm going to go right click, copy, then switch back to IronSpeed jump into design mode and making sure that I'm at the top of my page I'm going to select the first empty cell right below my table control panel. 
jumping into the cell editor, I go right click paste, and we've now pasted in our code. We're almost there, we have one more step left. In order to integrate our Dundas Charts control into our Iron Speed page, we need to retrieve the HTML markup associated with the Dundas control. Clicking back into Visual Studio, you'll see this Source tab uh, button in the bottom left-hand corner. Click on that. Now, our <clears throat> Visual Studio has pre-selected the HTML markup associated with our control, but what we also have to do is make sure that we select the data source, uh, SQL data source information uh, that we had selected using the wizard. Then I'm going to go right-click copy, then jump back into Iron Speed. Click on Design Mode, and then select the first blank cell that's below the Table Control Panel. When I click into the Cell Editor and go right-click Paste, you can see that the HTML markup and the SQL data source information has been copied into the cell. This is important because we don't want to have to repeat this process if we make other changes to the page later on. We also need to tell Iron Speed that we have a third-party control in use on this page. In order to do that, we have to insert a uh, register assembly line into our page directives area. Moving back into Visual Studio, at the top of the page, you'll see our register assembly line. Selecting the entire line, and then right-click Copy to save it into the clipboard, I switch back to Iron Speed. Now, positioned on any cell within our editor, right-click and you'll see this Page Directives line. Inserting a new line here, I'm going to paste in the uh, register assembly, which is, of course, going to tell uh, Iron Speed exactly uh, which control is in use uh, on this particular page. Next, I need to copy the connection string information from my Visual Studio application over into Iron Speed. To do that, I return to our Visual Studio application and then click on the web.config file. <clears throat> you can see here the connection string uh, in the connection strings area. I want to select the entire uh, line and right click copy. Moving back to Iron Speed once again, I click on the web.config file in my Iron Speed application. Moving down to the connection strings area in Iron Speed, I then insert this connection string into my web.config file and click Save. I also need to copy the DLL file associated with my third party control into my Iron Speed bin directory. First, I'm going to locate the installation of my Dundas charts and find the Dundas webchart.dll file. Then, I'm going to locate my Iron Speed installation folder and move into the bin directory. Then, I can copy the Dundas webchart.dll file into this bin directory. We're almost done. With all of our changes now complete, we can preview the results of our work. Clicking back onto our show table page again and clicking live preview, we can now see our Dundas chart is now appearing correctly based upon the same data that appears in the Iron Speed page. And in conclusion, we have learned how to use Visual Studio to obtain the HTML markup for a Dundas chart control, and then how to integrate that same Dundas chart control into Iron Speed Designer 6.2.1, and of course, to test the result. For more information on this video or any others that I have produced, please visit www.milesgibson.net or drop me an email at miles at milestone.ca. Thanks again for watching.